winter is here, the year is almost done. What are you working on right now that will make sure this coming year is your best yet? Hello, my name is Michael Kent. I create educational content about the emotional side of photography and how you can create better images, richer client experiences, and sustainable business practices that help you keep from burning out. January 1st is this reset that we culturally accept as a big starting over point. Nothing magical happens as the clock goes from 11.59 to 12, but as humans, we adore these clean reset moments. A chance to dust off the mistakes and errors of the past and feel a sense of a clean renewal. That makes this your friendly reminder that each year does not have to be the same. Your life, your work, your routines do not have to look the same year after year after year. As a creative business owner, we have the luxury of sculpting our business life exactly as we see fit. This means you can adjust your volume, what comes with your sessions, who you work with, what their and your experience is like. Here are some random suggestions that you could explore for the next year. One, create a high-end session just to see if people are willing to pay for it. This can be really helpful when you're still trying to gauge what your cost should be, or maybe you're nervous about raising your prices. Test session limits if you're feeling overwhelmed this year. You do not have to take every bit of work that is offered to you. Since you are in charge, you have the power to say, I am officially working too much this season and I am taking the next month off. There are some seriously good mental health benefits to deciding when you are full. Three, try shooting something new, a new style, a new genre, anything. Sometimes this is just what you need to shake off the rust, especially from a busy season. Four, explore brand new aesthetic. See if you like it, see how your clients respond. This can be scary, but creative growth often requires boldness. Five, you could reach out to some nonprofits, see if they're looking for some help, see if you can use your skills to help a cause that you care about. Personally, I get myself in trouble with my team for creating these big sweeping changes way too often. So it's only fair that I share some of the bad changes that I have set up over the last few years. Oh God, Ugh. Google file stream editing. I found a cool new app. I just had to play with it. It was awesome. It allowed us to keep catalogs in the cloud. The problem is that it was wicked slow. Like sit there constantly and watch your computer take its sweet time to do anything slow. The second one is the print kit. This one hurt. This one cost us quite a bit of money. I created a system where every single portrait session we photographed would receive their images as physical prints before even seeing them as digital images. This meant I had to create an elaborate system for them to be sent through the mail, but also deliver downloads at the same time. It was a super cool client experience, but whoa, did it cut into sales. I think this cost us like $5,000 in printed materials for the year, and it wiped out our annual print sales of like 10 to 15 to 20 thousand dollars but for every few bad ideas there's something that comes along that changes your perspective on your work or helps your mental health here are a couple good things that we have done recently photo walks the entire photo club concept is based on this fluke idea to head out and shoot with fellow photographers once we noticed that people liked these events we threw together a community idea and set aside time in our schedule to foster that idea this has been good for us. It created a new outlet for creative growth and y'all get to share in it. Just about every year we have thought, we are too busy, we need to raise our rates so that we can cut the volume of our business. But just about every year we have seen our rates go up and up, but our business refuses to drop. It is a good problem to have, but it does have its own issues. Whatever you choose, these goals should all fit into your larger goal, narrative, and vision for your work-life balance that you have for yourself. I challenge you to do some soul searching, plan out in your head exactly what you want your life and your business to look like in the next five years. And what are you going to do to your business this year in order to get one step closer to that five-year goal? Feel free to drop some visions below in the comments and we can have a chat. Thank you for watching. If you like what we are doing here or just want to join a kinder photography community, you can find links below to all of our platforms and don't forget to comment below if you have any questions that we can cover for you. Thank you. Goodbye.